welcome this is the energy vibration um, um a reading for the Leo Sun Moon and Rising sign and I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the month of July 2017 the month of July is a wonderful positive month I should say and what is happening is that there is a lot of positive energies that are coming in as we look at the month of July we're looking at the energy vibration of uh, um, the month is beginning with um, the energy of the hair uh, the air sign which is the energy of uh, the star so I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for returning please like share these videos please leave a message and um, and uh, um, please help to support this channel by subscribing and uh, subscribing and thumb, thumbs up and leaving a message okay um, I want to say to you Leos it's going to be um, a wonderful month honestly a wonderful month um, it's not one of those extremely months with money and that sort of a thing it's going to be more of connecting with your spirit guides and the angelical world and uh, um, the veil behind you have the energy of the world in the last week so the last week is going to be your promising week the first week is going to be art breaks that sort of a thing so for you Leos be aware of what is happening um, open up yourself to the energies you begin the week with water emotional and that we can see here but you end the week on a very nice note there's absolutely only um, one energy vibration that is going to support support you in a, your monthly there's a lot of major arcanas that are here for you so there is a lot of information that is coming up um, because of the international galactic and, um, beams that are coming in and the karmatic and the um, the cosmic family members who are coming down to help um, to help people on this planet uh, um, I'm having three levels of reading which is uh, um, very wonderful so all of them can connect uh, um, in the reading your number is a three and four three four and five your number is three four and five it's a bit weird because um, the sign before it got one two and three but here you have three four and five okay a message to the men the men um, in the second week you're going to meet the woman of your life if you had an art break which you had in the first week you're going to meet someone very special in the second week the third week is going to be a week of transformation it's going to be a week of healing your hearts and by healing your hearts um, some people are going to meet someone else and they're going to think to move to transit to, to make that change um, they're they're going to think about a lesson and to make that change so this is going to be wonderful as we look at the energy and the fourth week of the world and as I've said, I'm working um, with three Leos this week because of uh, the spirit guides, the international galactic and beings, uh, and the cosmic families who are coming in. They all want to give a message. I will be doing this, I think, for the, the, the monthly reading because um, there are information that is coming in. Whatever is happening and you're deciding to go for someone in your life, a relationship, uh, um, someone a love someone a big love that you have go for it do it do it make that decision uh, make the changes because you two were brought together um, by the universal angels okay so if you're deciding um, to make a decision to make a change in your life for someone who you have known a long time or someone wh who where your heart your heart is by that person you your, your old heart you have your heart body and soul by that person do it because you're going to see that the universal angels are going to bring you together and it's going to be extremely good the energy of love is really on top of you guys this month there is a lot of healing heartbreaks and this is all about your intimacy your personal relationship your marriage uh, living together um, whatever that has been happening who you are as a person we have in the first week um, we have the energy of a heartbreak and the energy of heartbreak it is the three yeah the three of uh, um, swords energy of heartbreak 
heartbreak and sadness whatever that has been happening in your love life you have an energy of heartbreak it doesn't have to be in your love life um, it can be um, a situation where um, something has happened to you and you felt so heartbroken over the situation and now it's time to leave it behind okay it is time to leave it behind do not um, look at the situation anymore do not uh, even uh, you know look at it assess it see what the lesson you have learned and move on let it go okay do not sit in the state of heartbreak because um, your next energy is dependency your next energy is dependency if you sit in the situation and B you need to heal your heart this is the purple energy the purple point you need to heal your heart the purple is always a time when the angels and guides come in to heal the dependency that you have and understand that you can live without someone and yet still love people from afar okay so again you can live without a partner but yet still love people from afar you can live without a partner but yet still love people from afar okay the next energy that we have is the hermit the energy of the hermit is a water energy so he he is coming up to show you in a wisdom and he's guiding you through this heartache and this heartbroken he is letting you see and he's opening up to you and showing you doors of things that you weren't really seeing he's bringing in a wisdom as you can look there is three different spots of angels on this card and it's at the top it's here oh. you have one two three and as I said to you guys the universal angels the intergalactic beings are coming in and you can all see them and there is two coming from above and one coming out from the heart so obviously Archangel Shamuel is here coming out from the hurt and helping you ground with the energy vibrations of the hurt. You need to understand that the first week is going to be a week that is helping you to release yourself from heartbreak and realize that there is nothing that can break your heart, only if you give it the energies to do that. Okay? And this situation is affecting some men out there, some men um, in their personal life, it's not going well. And um, it's really affecting them in a lot. For the women, you are strong, you're powerful, you're going, it's helping, you're going through. But this is a situation that is affecting men between the ages of 18 and um, 35, okay? We're moving forward and we're looking at the energy vibration for the second week, which is emotional loss we have here, which is another um, energy of the heart chakra that means the heart chakra isn't in balance whenever our heart chakra is out of balance we have heartbreaks and emotional loss okay emotional loss in this in this sense after the heartbreak is that uh, you or you have gone through the the heartbreak in the first week and the second week the emotional loss is coming so let's see what we have in the third week because we need to heal this um, heartbreak and emotional loss okay so in the second week um, it's another emotional card and you have the yellow energy the orange energy to go with here because this emotional loss is you thinking that you have lost all and what you're not understanding is that you need to find your passion to realize that you need to move on you need to find your passion to realize that you need to move on. So whatever you feel so emotional, lost about, there is another sign, another car, another thing to the, the card, and you need to find that passion within to move on. There is obviously something which is happening because now with the emotional loss, you are realizing that the heartbreak is over the emotional loss is plain and um, this you are you need to heal you need to heal so you have two emotional um, loss in this deck two emotional loss so whatsoever is happening to you guys in the two first week because the two first weeks the zodiac is a water energies and you're a fire sign so there's a lot of heartbreaks 
um, ending of relationship transformation um, who you thought was the love of your life uh, and that sort of a thing but right away after this you are going to meet someone who is going to be your soulmate or twin flame some of you are going to meet some soulmates some of you are going to meet twin flame so whatsoever happened in the first week and the second week with this being in the reverse form and the love of your the 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 the, the act the soulmate love the twin flame love the soulmate this is going to be coming in it's all about love in the two first weeks of this month it's all about love this month is all about love and remember that you Leos have been working on the lovers you had the energy of the lovers for your um, your year reading the energy of the lovers was your foremost um, focus and this is what is playing out in the month of July as we move forward to the third week we have uh, the energy of the heart chakra so here healing is going to come in so this month of July is all about healing the heart chakra in your personal relationship, whether in your marriage, whether in your living together, whether you have been common law for a very long time, whatever it is, uh, this is airs and healing coming in for the people who have broke up lately, for the people who have um, um, people have decided to separate from them and walk away whatever is happening this needs to be ill and the energy of the heart chakra comes up so call up an archangel um call upon archangel uh, shamuel and ask in archangel shamuel for a healing for your heart chakra there is a special sound that you can do to heal your heart chakra and i am going to look it up and it's yum 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 and um, the color is green so this third week it's going to be green and the sound is yum 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 the element is here and the glance is uh, the tie the thymus glance and I love you I love you so in this third week you're going to heal the heartbreak in the first week you're going to heal the emotional loss in the second week and um you are going to heal your heart chakra in the third week so obviously there has been um there has been a situation with the heart chakra um parallels to the arc parallel parallels to the heart chakra this chakra represent unconditional love compassion harmony relationships and healing it's believed to be the link between the mind body and soul so there we are people so let's do that again it's believed to be the link between the mind body and soul and this is what i'm always saying to people if your mind body and soul is in out balance okay you are not balanced you're unbalanced okay so we need to um, really balance our mind body and soul balance in this area may take a while but you should allow all the time you can and need to heal the energy of this energy point uh, that gets it flowing freely by loving yourself and others as well as learning forgiveness you will become more attuned with spirit so again we're doing this until we all understand because it's a week of healing balance in this area may take a while but you should allow all the time that you need so the healing energies can get through and flow freely by loving yourself by loving yourself and others as well as learning forgiveness you will become more attuned to spirit so this is a wonderful wonderful energy vibration this is good remember to clearly to sound for your art chakra is yum 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 so we're going forward with the third week and it's a creation creation so if you even when you heal your art chakra you start creating to heal your art chakra and creating to keep it in balance to keep it in the balance okay so this is going to be a positive profound week it's a week of creation it's a week of wonderful positive energies you can create whenever your art chakra is unconditional love you're going to see the creation of this coming out 
And this week you have the four of ones. The energy of the four of ones is this, is this positive. Is this, uh, is really a positive energy that is coming in. The four of one carry a strong foundation with whatever. So your relationship for the people who are worried about their relationship in this week, they have no need to worry because the universal angels and guides are going to come in. Some of you are going to decide uh, to go new direction. You, some of you are at a crossroad. And um, some of you have met someone else that you want to move on with. So there is a situation that is going on here for you people. Some have a good, strong um, foundation. Some are at a crossroad that they need to move on. Some people have found the love of their life and they want to, to release their old relationship. And um, this is affecting a lot of people who don't understand that sometimes something has come to an end and it has to be ended okay we're moving on and we're looking at the fourth week and we have the energy of the universe so this again um, is an awareness that the energy vibration of the universe is in and I love this card I think it's one of the most beautiful card that has, has ever been designed I so vibrate with this card. I love the universe. I love the stars. And the way they've done this card is uh, so profound. Whenever I'm doing a reading for myself, I always look at this and say, oh my God, this is nicely done. Okay. The energy of the world is here and this is just a positive energy. So in the week, the last four weeks, you're going to um, see the energies of angels and guides and feel them around you. Call upon the unicorns, the um, the um, night dimension beings, the dolphin, um, the fairies, and all these um, universal beams to come in and to help you to go through and heal and awaken your your heart chakra. The next thing I didn't say, the Palladians are very good. So call upon the um, the energy vibration of the Palladians to come in and help you with whatever heartbreak and whatever situation that is going on. Okay, the world. The world is here and it brings with it discovery, discovery. So this is good. So this is what I'm saying to each and every person. This month is a month where the angelical beams, the universal beams, the intergalactic beams, the cosmic beams are going to come in to help their counterparts and whoever you connect with. Whenever these beams come in, they're going to come in and help you and help you to heal your life in a positive way. Okay, this is going to be extremely good. They're going to help you to heal your life in a positive way. As we look forward, we have temperance, and temperance is the energy vibration of an earth energy, and um, temperance is coming in. Whatever is going on is going to be positive because you have this is going to be a balanced, stable week. And with this balanced, stable week, you're going to see that the universal angels are bringing in positive wonderful endeavors that is coming in for you and this is going to be wonderful because um this month is the effect um on the people in this month are the men and some the effect for these people the men is the men between the ages of uh, 18 and 35 and for the older men um it have an effect um on some people that has the energy of the lovers so you know it's all about um, a relationship old uh, relationships are coming to an end and new ones are coming in but it's it's a month of you guys bringing harmony to the family you guys are bringing harmony to the family harmony to the family as well as peace and consistency old age people are you know are understanding that they're becoming older and being mature in um whatever endeavor is working out it's 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 a time of loving family passionate love and mature love okay so this is good so some people are going to feel uh, a loving family some people are going to feel the passion of love passionate love and some people are going to feel maturity love which is uh, you know a wonderful wonderful endeavor and um, as you look forward what is going to happen also is that the energy of um, um, the energy of uh, um, 
um, uh, um, transition um, changes uh, um, that you you have reached a stage where um, changes are coming in so you know the passionate decision um, a love related situation a turning point in a love life uh, and uh, um, this for some people is going to be extremely positive for some people it's going to be extremely positive it's going to be a time when love is going to take over and love is going to be um, the, the, the the decision bringing clarity to condition positive result exclusive results so it's 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 a positive positive month whenever it comes to love because a lot of you will be ill in the heart you know uh, um, a lot of you will be um, really ill in the art chakras, really ill in um, certain things, um, really ill in the art chakras because the energy of uh, a wonderful, passionate decision that will be um, coming in for a lot of people that which will be good. So this is, I would say that it's a positive endeavor when you when you look at things. Uh, um, from a, this is positive decisions and love related decision you know it's turning points uh, that is going in in uh, in within um, people's heart uh, um, and it's 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 wonderful so whenever we um, whatever way we look at it uh, it is um, a time of positivity it's a time of changes but these changes are good changes um, that is happening. So here we are, um, uh, another month, um, seeing wonderful energies, vibration that are happening, and this is extremely good. So uh, again, congratulations to a, a lot of people out there. Um, a lot of people will be, um, you know, meeting up and seeing um, these wonderful energies that are happening. So. Um, this is also good so whatever is happening for you guys out there I am wishing you a wonderful time um, in the sense that uh, um, whatever changes that are happening should be changed you're healing your emotional at uh, the emotional aspect of who you are so this is another wonderful wonderful thing so that was the love part of your reading as we go forward we're looking now at the energy vibration of the sun the um, Leo Sun and the Leo Sun people will be working with the Librans the Leo Sun people will be working with the Librans whatever is happening the Leo Sun people will be working with the Librans so again remember that whatever is happening the Leo Sun people will be working with the Librans in this month what is happening is the retrograde of mercury um whatever is happening you guys the planet you're retrograding um and it's 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 in this energy vibration reading that whatever planet um and is there is going to be a backlog of uh, um, mercury is uh, the gemini's so whatever is happening here you are having a conflicts with a with the Gemini's the Gemini's and the Virgo there is a conflicts with the Gemini's and Virgo um, in this month with you Leo so this is where for the Sun people the Gemini's and the Virgo these are the ones that you are having problems with um, that is going to affect you in this month so be aware of this be extremely aware of this for you Sun people um, whatever situation that is happening um, some of you are going to be justified against the Leos and the Vir the Gemini's and the Virgo whatsoever is happening for you Sun people you're going to be justified against the Leos and the Virgo so this is going to be good so if you're having a lawsuit with the, the Gemini's <laughs> if you're having a lawsuit with the Gemini's and the Virgos um, you're going to be justified Whatever is happening, you're going to win this law school lawsuit from the Gemini's and the Virgo, okay? Because the Librans, the energy of the Librans is going to help you. As we move forward and we look at the lunar sign, with the lunar sign, you will be working. Whoa, the lunar side will be working with the Gemini people. 
the Gemini zodiac. So the people of the Gemini, whether your sun, moon, and rising sign is of the Gemini, the Libra moon sign people will be working with Gemini's. Okay, so whether it's the Gemini, sun, moon, and rising sign, whatever, whoever the Gemini's are, you will be working with them. As we move forward and we uh, go forward, we have the energy vibration of Uranus. And Uranus is uh, um, a situation where you will be having um, to deal with the Aquarians. You will be um, <laughs> dealing with the Aquarians. And, you know, for you, um, fire people, it's one of the most uh, um, aggressive kind of sign. And this is going to show you something. This is going to make you realize something about what is going on. So be aware. Um, the Aquarians always um, open up uh, um, people existence, you know. So you'll be working with um, the Gemini air. So it's all about the air energy. Whatever situation you're having with the Aquarians, it's going to be, um, you, they will be working against you and you will be trying to bring a balance to a situation. Okay, so this sounds like a lot of divorce or people who are leaving each other behind and there is a, there seems to be um, a situation where there's a lot of people who are working on the negative energies and you're trying to balance it out these relationships. So whatever it is, be aware of what you send out in the universe so you can um, receive positive things um, coming back to you, okay? The last and final cards that is happening, um, the last and final card that is happening is all about the love for you guys in this month and purification. And I can understand that purification comes out. I really understand that purification comes out because it's all about healing the heart chakra. So I do understand and I do know why purification comes out because it's all about healing the heart chakra and the heart chakra needs to be healed. Mental clarity, pure, um, purity and um, spaciousness. Mental clarity, purity and spaciousness. And your focus is by embracing purity on all levels. I open to great expansion by embracing purity on all levels. I open to greater compassion. Okay, so mental clarity, purity and spacefulness is what is happening. You're embracing um, so, you know, bringing the tips, you know, cautions. Be cautious when you use this exercise. Be cautious when you do this exercise. Whatever you do, be cautious when you do this exercise, okay? It is, and it's going to be um, a really interesting month for you, um, um, Leos, it's going to be a very interesting month for you, Leo. So now be aware of it that this month for you guys is all about love. It's ending and new beginnings. It's finding your soulmate and partners. So please like and share these videos and thumbs up. And I want to say to each and every person out there, no matter what the situation is, no matter how hard it is for you to connect with another person, no matter how it is that you have been uh, connecting with someone and you thought that it was the person and now you realize that that person wants to move on, let them go because whenever you hold on too tight on people, you never ever get to generate and to clear your energies and to move on and to learn new lessons and, and to finish your um, the accommodating of who you are. So be aware of this and to open up to wonderful new energies that are coming in. And I want to say to each and every person, namaste. Until next time, bye.